to book a phone consultation and to get fly glasses, go to swagboy360.com. Uh. What's good? What's good? This your host, Swag Boy from swagboy360.com. Uh. Today's episode How to Handle Difficult Women. I got an email from the homie Hector shouting out a good year, Arizona. Shout out to Hector, man. Hey, yo, Hector, good looking for that donation. And yo, you a lucky motherfucker, yo. Your ass get to see palm trees every day living in Arizona. So he writes, Swag, what's up, my guy? I have been encountering the same problem with different females. And that is females being difficult. When we exchange numbers, the chemistry and everything is there. But when it's time to actually meet up, they start acting difficult. For example, I got this one girl's number and we spoke on the phone for about a week. But every time I ask to see her, it gets complicated. She says stuff like, I'm real busy. I got to check on my schedule, stuff like that. But then when we finally did meet up, and I tried to give her a kiss, she was very standoffish. But I was wondering, Swag, is there anything I can do to be able to handle difficult females differently? Because this is a problem I've been encountering a lot. One more thing, Swag. When I asked my uncle about how to handle difficult females, he just said that what's worth keeping is worth fighting for. Let me know your take on that. I right, Hector, you want to know how to handle difficult females. This is how you handle difficult females. You don't deal with them bitches at all. That's how you handle them bitches. Damn, now that I think about it, I should have titled the name of this video, Walk Away From Difficult Females. Because that's what you niggas need to do. Walk away from difficult females. But, as you know, a lot of you niggas can't. Why? Because you want to fuck the bitch Or the bitch look good Or you lusting over the bitch That's what's keeping you from walking away from the bitch But guess what? The bitch knows that That's why the bitch gonna continue to be difficult with your ass When a bitch is being difficult with you That's her way of playing with you Now most bitches They know what niggas they can play with And what niggas they can't play with Sometimes A bitch don't know what type of nigga you are So they'll test you to see if they can play with your ass or not. Now, as some of you all know, I have an Instagram boutique where I have an Instagram page that I use to uh, uh, draw uh, traffic to my website where girls can then go and buy their club dresses, right? So that calls for me to deal with a lot, with, with a lot of models, right? So I deal with models on a regular. And some of these models be trying to play with me. Like, for example, I have a photo shoot coming up Saturday, right? So I'll hit up a number of different models. I usually hit up the, the first group of models that I want first. The, the best looking, the most gorgeous, the ones with the fat asses and shit. I'll hit them up. I'll be like, look, I'm having a photo shoot this Saturday at this time. And the compensation will be such and such. Do you want it? So I get on the phone with the bitch, right? Now, some of these bitches be trying to be difficult with me. So I'll be like, can you do it? So the way they be difficult with me is they be like, uh, I'm not sure. Let me think about it. Um, can I get back to you later? So my response is, well, like, about what, 10, 20 minutes? They be like, uh, no, um, can I get back to you tomorrow? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I, I, I can't wait that long. I can't wait that long. Uh, but thanks for your time. Enjoy your day. Click. I dismissed her ass. Because, bitch, I'm not about to be waiting by the motherfucking phone all fucking day until tomorrow to, to, to hear back from you with a yes or motherfucking no, bitch. Bitch, I'm a motherfucking priority. I'm not going to be option number two, option number three, option num number four, bitch. I'm option number one or no option at all. And that's how you niggas need to conduct yourself. You niggas need to give off and exert that type of confidence when you dealing with these bitches. 
See, you niggas be letting bitches play with you. That's why bitches play with you niggas. I had to curse this bitch out a few weeks ago because she tried to play with me, but she got mad that I wouldn't let her play with me. For example, I was about to do a photo shoot, right? So, boom, I told her, look, I need to meet you on this day and this day and this day. Can you do it? At this time, can you do it? She was like, oh, let me get back to you tomorrow. I, I, I got I to gotta look at my schedule and I'll let you know. I said, you know what? Forget it. Don't worry about it. If you can't make up your mind right now that you can do it, I'm going on to my next uh to my next option. And then she got mad at me. So I'm saying, uh, what? You can't wait until tomorrow for me to tell you, uh, uh, to give you a yes and no if I can do it? Like, no. I'm like, bitch, who the, who the fuck you think you are? Who, who, why the fuck you think you superior to me for me to wait for your motherfucking ass? Like you the only bitch out here with a fat ass or something. When a female is being difficult at the beginning, it means she has low interest in you. Okay? Now, when a bitch is being difficult in the beginning, that is the worst. Because it's in the beginning where a bitch is trying to put her best foot forward. She trying to give off her best impression of herself to you. She's basically trying to sell herself to you. And in the beginning, if that bitch is being difficult, oh nigga, you need to walk away immediately. Cause it's only gonna get worse from there on. And Hector, you said that when you went to your uncle for advice about the bitch being difficult, he responded with, a female that's worth keeping is a female that's worth fighting for. That ain't got shit to do with the fuck you going through, man. Cause first off, how the fuck do you know if the bitch is worth keeping? Cause from what you tell me, that bitch ain't worth keeping. The bitch being difficult, how the fuck is she worth keeping, nigga? How the fuck is she worth fighting for? I don't, ain't, ain't no, first off, ain't no bitch worth fighting for. That's number one. And number two, you niggas gotta stop taking advice from your motherfucking uncles and fathers and brothers if these niggas ain't red pill. Cause no disrespect, a lot of the niggas in your family will be on some blue pill shit. Cause like, I'm like, it's like, besides me, there's only one other nigga in my family that's red pill. Everybody else is on a little blue pill side. They fucking gentlemen and shit. I can't get advice from them niggas. The same way you can't get advice from the niggas in your family because them niggas ain't red pill. Them niggas don't have a, a superior mindset over females. They think they think females are above them. Or some of them, they think females are equal to them. How the fuck you going to take advice from a nigga like that? And to Hector and all you other brothers that's dealing with difficult females, nigga, I know the frustration that y'all niggas be feeling. I used to be blue pill. I used to think that the, the sexy bitch that I wanted to fuck so bad is I thought I used to think it was normal for her to be difficult in the beginning. I used to think that. And, and, and how I responded, I used to like try to accommodate her. You know what I mean? I, I, I used to try to do things to make her not be difficult anymore. But none of that shit worked, man. Because she had low interest in me. And even when we did hang out. It wasn't fun. When I was hanging out with the difficult bitch, it wasn't fun hanging out with the difficult bitch. Like, 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 like the bitch I was, like, trying to get, like, to my house for weeks, months. When I finally did get that bitch to my house, she wasn't dropping on her fucking knees ready to suck my dick. She wasn't pulling her drawers down, her thongs down, her panties down, ready to give me no, some pussy. She was still being difficult. The bitch was difficult on the phone. The bitch was difficult in person, nigga. You got bitches that would literally come into your life, give you their number to make you think something about to happen between y'all. They do that just to play with you, nigga. Just to be difficult with you, nigga. You got to show a bitch, look, if you being difficult with me, don't fuck with me. You got to walk away from that bitch, yo. Like, because uh, me, nigga, I got enough challenges in my motherfucking life, nigga. And I'll be damned if a bitch is one of them, nigga. Fuck that. Got me fucked up, bitch. Hold up, hold up. Let me say something real quick. Hold up. I want you niggas to listen to this shit, man. You niggas who allow bitches to come into your life and be difficult. You niggas who allow bitches to come into your life and play with you. You are communicating to that bitch. Or to those bitches that you are a man of low value. 
you gotta remember something. People only treat you the way you allow them to treat you. You showing this bitch it's okay to treat you at, like a man of low value. Cause that's what she doing when she play with you, nigga. When she tell you, oh, I'll get back to you later. Oh, I gotta check my schedule. No, nigga, that just means that bitch ain't busy. That just means you not at the top of her priority list, nigga. She got niggas above you, nigga. She got niggas in front of you, nigga. And, 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 and you are option number two or three, just in case one of them alpha niggas, just in case one of them niggas that they have, that they have high value for, flakes out on them. I ain't gonna be no bitch backup plan, bitch. Straight up, yo. For real. But guess what, though? I want y'all to listen to this shit. Guess what, man? I know what a lot of you niggas' problems is, man. A lot of you niggas' problems is, like, y'all don't know any better. Because, like, at first, I ain't know any better. But when I continue to date, you know what I mean? And, like, I was running into bitches who was really treating me like a priority. When I started dating bitches who was treating me like a king, I say, ain't no way I'm going back to the my old self when I used to let bitches treat me like an option. When I used to be bitches backup plan. I say, ain't no way I'm going back to that, that, that same mentality again, man. When I saw how bitches just suck my dick soon as I said suck my dick in a snap of a fingers, I said, oh, hell yeah. I was not going back to my old self ever again. You niggas don't know how to be how it feels to be treated like a king. That's why you allow these bitches to treat you like peasants. This is why. Stop that shit. Check this out, y'all. Right? I'm gonna keep it real with you. I live in New Jersey, right outside New York City, right? I'm, I meet a lot of bitches that live in New York City. I have dated multiple bitches that live in New York City. Now, driving from New York, I'm sorry, driving from New Jersey into New York City, I got to pay tolls. Easy pass, right? Then I got to pay for parking, right? Because I don't know if you niggas don't know this, but if you get a traffic if, if you get a parking ticket in New York, it's a hundred dollars. No bullshit. You can look this up. It's probably like a hundred, five, hundred, ten now. But if you get a parking ticket in New York City, that is a hundred dollars. Parking in a lot in New York City is like twenty to thirty dollars per hour. No bullshit. I lie to you not. Therefore, it is easier for me. It is more easier for me to have a bitch. Come see me than for me to go to her. It is much more convenient. Right? Now, the bitches who have high interest in me have no problem taking a train across the river two stops away from Manhattan just to come see me. They have no problem with doing that. They, they, they will do that in a heartbeat. Bitches do that for me in the regular if they have high interest in me. But the bitches who don't have high interest in me, they be like, all right, cool, I'm, I'm about to come see you. Where you at? Oh, um, I'm in Jersey, man. Take the train from Manhattan Penn Station and come to Jersey. I ain't doing that. I'm like, bitch, I ain't coming to New York either. <laughs> Decision time. Right there, I just showed the bitch that I am high value. Right there, I just showed the bitch that my convenience come first before hers. Even if that means I don't get to get my dick up, Or if it, even if it means I don't get to fuck her pussy. So fucking what? My self-worth is worth more than your fucking pussy. Uh, let me say, son. Nah, nah, hold up, yo. I gotta say this shit, man. Bro, you niggas need to hear this shit, son. When you know how it feels like to be treated like a king, you ain't going back to being treated like a peasant, man. I ain't going back to that shit. Yo, do you know what it feels like to be treated like a king then going back to being treated like a peasant? It, it, it's, it's like it's like flying on a plane, right? And you going from first class, now they taking your ass back to coach. That's what it's like. It's like, it's like 
flying on a luxurious private plane to now you gotta go back flying commercial. It's like it's like driving a your your nice comfortable car, and now you gotta take the fucking bus. I ain't going back to that shit. Fuck that. You see, the submissive bitch is my friend. The submissive bitch is my ally because I can win with her. The submissive bitch wants to please me. The submissive bitch wants to see me happy. I can go to the top with her. See, the submissive bitch will go out her way to please you. The submissive bitch will cross rivers, valleys, and mountains for you. While the difficult bitch won't even cross the street for you. You'll be across the street from a difficult bitch. You'll be like, hey, I'm, I'm right here, baby. J- just cross the street. I'm right here. The difficult bitch be like, no. You come over here and walk and walk me across the street. You know what? You know what? You keep your ass over there then, bitch. I'm gone. <laughs> bitch got me all the way fucked up. All the way fucked up. I am not the one, bitch. I don't know who these bitches think I am. Test me if you want, bitch. You ain't gonna like it. Like, like I don't know about y'all, but it's so easy for me not to deal with difficult bitches. It's like you got a choice. You can either eat food or eat shit. And you niggas dealing with difficult bitches, you niggas are eating shit. You niggas are voluntarily eating shit. And you know, the difficult bitches, they be trying to creep their way back in. You know what I mean? They'll hit me up months later. They be like, oh, hi, stranger. How are you? I haven't heard from you in a while. I be like, yeah, you are right. Haven't heard. Last time I heard from you, you was full of shit. How you doing now? Are you still full of shit? I, I, I'm bold as hell with it. What can happen? What's the worst that happened? She gonna walk away from me? Fuck that bitch. I'm bold as hell with that bitch. And then one bitch was like, you know what? I thought about it. You was right. You know, like, New Jersey's not that far from Manhattan. You know, there's only one or two train stops away. You so right. I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm like, fuck all that bitch. Is you coming through or what? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm like, I ain't whatever. You you come through tomorrow? Yeah, I'm coming through tomorrow. I like where it is. Now, now I know this off the subject, but always tell a bitch what to wear, yo. When a bitch comes see you, always tell a bitch what to wear, yo. When you tell a bitch what to wear prior to her coming to see you, it's like a guarantee you getting your dick suck or you getting some pussy. Because what will happen is that when you tell a bitch what to wear, now she will seek your approval and your validation. Now remember, a bitch only wants the approval and validation of the nigga that she's fucking and sucking. If she ain't doing nothing sexual with the nigga, she don't give a fuck about his approval or validation. In closing, leave difficult bitches alone. You niggas should be turned off by difficult bitches. When dating, take the path of least resistance. And you do that by only dealing with submissive females and females who have high interests in you. Difficult females are problematic. Difficult females bring drama in your life. Difficult females bring stress in your life. Don't deal with them. You cannot win with a difficult bitch. You know why? Cause difficult bitches don't want to see you winning. That was today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'ma catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.